taking another look at our naso tang today and we want to talk about head and lateral line erosion which is a disease that often affects these herbivorous fishes. See it frequently in yellow tangs. You can see it in nasos and coles and many of the other tangs. You'll see it in rabbit fishes and uh, This fish, by the way, this naso, is the opposite of a sick fish. It is a healthy fish. Fat. It has terrific coloration. It's been in this tank for more than 10 years. And if you look at the, the tail fin, the tails, and those trailing edges along the tail, evidence of maturity in the fish and high health as well. Now when you see head and lateral line erosion in a fish in a, an aquarium situation typically what you see of course is that the fish will lose weight. Uh, you may even see the outlines of the skeleton through the body wall of the fish. It starts to look like skin and bones. Uh, the coloration changes and uh, the, uh, the nice vibrant colors will uh, disappear and you'll just see sort of dull colors. Very evident in the case of the yellow tangs. And you'll see sort of a, uh, a, a cavernous space uh, where the gut is, indicating that the gut is empty. And then in advanced stages of head and lateral line erosion, HLLE it's sometimes called, you'll see actual holes developing in the skin, around the snout of the fish, around the nose, around the eyes, around the head, and around the lateral line. Just an erosion and uh, these uh, sores developing. And if you look through the literature, especially the online literature, uh, you'll find a lot of uh, comments of, uh, from puzzled individuals saying, geez, we really don't know what's causing this head and lateral line erosion. It's a mystery and it's a deficiency of this or that. Um, that problem has been solved, folks. Head and lateral line erosion is caused by a dietary deficiency, specifically by the lack of fresh algae, fresh seaweed in the diet. And you can demonstrate that to your satisfaction. If you see a fish that has these symptoms, that is the weight loss, poor coloration, development of holes and sores around the head and lateral line, what you need to do is give that fish some fresh seaweed and we recommend this. This is Ulva. We call it Tang Heaven Green produced here at Indo-Pacific Sea Farms, IPSF.com. You can also use the red grassalaria which we call Tang Heaven Red. Make sure the fish, the afflicted fish, has access to these fresh seaweeds. And you're going to see an immediate reversal of the symptoms of head and lateral line erosion. You'll see the gut, the tummy of the fish fill out with seaweed. And as soon as the seaweed reaches the digestive tract of the fish. There will be beneficial effect on the metabolic processes of that fish and you will see a reversal of the symptoms. The color will come back. Nice vibrant color. Fish will gain weight over time and those 
holes associated with head and lateral line erosion will heal themselves. So we're here to tell you that this is not a mystery of science. It's a simple dietary deficiency. Uh, just like a lack of vitamin C uh, can lead to scurvy. This was a big mystery in the age of exploration when sailors primarily from Europe were venturing out around the globe and finding that after a period of weeks and months they were developing these horrible symptoms associated with scurvy and it was a big mystery until it was discovered that eating limes and citrus fruits would reverse the symptoms of scurvy. It was that simple. And once that was understood, it was no longer a problem. Up until the point that it was understood, it was a serious problem that caused enormous suffering. And that analogy is directly applicable to what's going on with head and lateral line erosion in these herbivorous reef fishes, which in nature have almost continual access to a variety of fresh seaweeds in their diet. And that's something that we must not overlook when keeping these fishes in captivity. So if you want to keep your tangs healthy, looking great, just understand that they need constant access to fresh seaweed. And if you want to order some, it's available at our website, ipsf.com, Indo-Pacific Sea Farms. And we have plenty of information. And it's not expensive, it's pretty cheap. Uh, so please don't neglect this important step when endeavoring to keep surgeon fishes, tangs, in captivity.